It's the event that changed the quality of their lives and not for the better. Exactly one year since a landslide came down on the seascape apartments in Kokorit, a number of residents remain displaced, unable to occupy their own homes. I am one who my mortgage was paid off. I am now renting. I am retiring age. How long can I continue? In December when anything happened, I called a transport guy and they moved out my stuff from the front here and I put it in storage. I was staying with a relative at first and then I went to rent. And so we've been renting since. After all this time, the mound of dirt and rubble remains. And residents say the situation has only gotten worse over the past year. We started hiring some heavy rains and with that heavy rain, it literally became a waterfall of water was coming down on what will be the northern side of the building. During this time, residents received visits from the Ministry of Works, their councillor, their MP, Simon de Nobrega, and the Port of Spain City Corporation. Yet still, no redress. Even though we are responsible for here, the Port of Spain Corporation built that wall to the back. That land behind there does not belong to us. Where do we stand? So far, nothing. The elections came, everybody was about electioneering, and well, we know the mayor, he demitted office, the councillor has changed. Nothing. We are in no man's land right now. TV6 made contact with MP for Diego Martin Central, Simon de Nobrega who said both the cause and solution rest with local government and must be addressed by the Port of Spain City Corporation. However, the MP noted that he had multiple site visits to the private development with the previous mayor and councillor, and some headway was made regarding the way forward. TV6 was unable to get a response from the corporation. However, the MP gave a commitment to follow up with the council. Renessa Cutting, TV6 News.